Hey uh, folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Line Go Up Simulator. It's Victoria 3. We're playing as China and we are deciding to give our economy a kick in the pants by simply building an unlimited amount of construction sectors for the private industry to take advantage of, which apparently I should have done maybe sooner. Persia support independence. I mean, later we might get involved in more of these things. We'll see. Organized crime. Ah, that's expensive. This is the, oh yeah, Blue's authority, which would send us negative, but just barely. Under Atari, hey, great game company. So I believe Atari comes from a term in Go specifically. Um, informants have learned the existence of the Reform China Society. A leak has detailed plans of an uprising in Guangdong and its members are now arrested. Sun Yat-sen, one of the leaders has evaded capture. He wants parliamentary republic. It would be wise to try for Japan or England. Evaded captor, he could be anywhere in China. So this person would stick around. He would be agitating for a parliamentary republic. How do I feel about that? I think, if I recall correctly, I just saw a discussion on Reddit that currently parliamentary republic is not something that any of the ideologies really support very much. I mean, we've already got a... We, we do already have some support for it. Problem is, it would still radicalize the scholars, and basically, impossible to not have them become radicalized. We need to be um, so happy with this. See, it's interesting because it's at minus twenty from five to minus fifteen. If they're at fourteen right now, but I guess what would happen is they'd get to minus twenty. They go from fourteen to minus six, and that would get them presumably cranky enough to leave, leave the government or something, and that would complete the thing. Actually. Oh, sorry, I'm misreading it. The scholar officials would be a minus six, but they wouldn't be radicalized. It's the Confucian scholars, 7.3. That might be okay. And we'd be getting more, hmm. This is artistic impression. Russia League. I want the interest group for the literati, probably. I'll do that. I mean, I, I, I maybe we'll make some moves for Prussia. I don't know. I'm wondering. Sure, we're going to get a second agitator to enact a parliamentary republic. Oh, your state religion. So there's already this movement. Oh, and you're already there. I guess you were already here is what it is. It said appear, but you were already there. Okay, so we don't actually have more support for it, which is a shame. Okay, we've got positive when we're not doing the construction. Suppose we might want to give it a beat just to make sure those existing construction places are fully hired and everything. But yeah, otherwise, all the construction is going there. And again, we could we could afford more of this construction pool. Uh, ooh, glass price is going up, which makes sense because this uses a lot of glass. I don't yet have the... No. Soon we'll get the next level. Oh, right. We freed up a ton of bureaucracy by getting the welfare. Get rid of the welfare as well. Okay, this is all going very good. Get rid of the welfare so we can invest more in schools is actually phenomenal for us. Let me just check that our glass market is on the best modes. Yeah, crystal glass. I could go for more bone china or I could lower it, which right now would be profitable. I think I'm going to leave it on ceramics. I think the solution is to just build more glass stuff. And again, we're hoping the private thing does that. Um, I think the laissez-faire can build infrastructure, but I don't... Yeah, and it clearly is. Southern Manchuria, let me queue up... Um, three over here really quick to get rid of your deficit. Anywhere that the... Well, the zero might not be quite as important, but yeah, it's fine. Let's say anywhere where it's not currently being built, we might want to deal with this. Permitted... Enact state religion. I don't want that. Although it is going to continue to radicalize them more. Who offers opportunity. Anti-Russia wants a defensive pact with Persia. Lots of people are in here. All right, fine. Let's form a defensive pact. Okay, lobby opportunity completed. That's gonna make some people. The Anti-British Association, all right. You know what, I agree. Britain sucks. Let's embargo them. I guess I should have uh, supported that earlier, but you're a little less pissy now. Who's actually in this one? Uh, the scholars, who are probably gonna hate me regardless, so maybe it doesn't matter too much. Now, theoretically, uh, and I'm assuming there's no glass import to be had. Well, there's some from Russia. Although, again, we might not be friends with Russia for long. 
10 glassworks are in the queue. Good. That's what we want to see. Okay, we're going to burn off our debt, and then we're going to start dropping our taxes. Is going to be part of our goal here. There we go. GDP goes up. Oh, we can clearly support more construction, too. Yeah. What am I talking about dropping taxes? No. Sort, yeah, sort by job seekers, I think, is fine. And let's fill up Henan and on with more construction sectors. Borrowing a little bit from the investment pool. Oh, they're still running negative right now, despite the fact that I'm using some of the construction capacity for myself. Oh. So I think that's the right thing. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, drain this. Again, we've got years worth over here. Although that's going to create more of a demand for glass. You know, it probably makes sense for us to go and subsidize a little bit of direct glass construction. Big earnings in Beijing, which makes sense because they're going to have a construction industry. I'm just going to set, set up 10. We could do more for um, stacking efficiency. But the private industry is still building some glass works and, you know, they might pick it up in Beijing. But Beijing clearly got a lot of demand for it, partially because they do have the construction sectors. I suspect all the places where the glass industry is predicted to be the most profitable are probably places where there is a construction market. Um, and then... I think I am subsidizing all the railways everywhere. I think I just have that turned on. Well, I would if you had any. Hey, what? I'm going to alt-click one over here. I know you had one in the private industry, but let's just get you in here. I think we had some other construction just went on in this state, so I suspect they're going to need a fair bit. Blam. Good. Money. Money's kind of going up very quickly. We're not doing a very good job of paying off that debt. What's our interest? 80k. Yeah. This is going to take a long time to burn away this stuff, but... Nearing about a half a million over here. Dialectics. Okay, that's more education. So, influence maneuver, influence maneuver. We saved some bureaucracy from these, which might be worth it. Realism, prestige, realist art, different patronage modes. These are tier three. Nationalism, I don't think is anything we particularly need right now. We might want another one of these, or I propose we burn through all the level two military tech. We still need to do a war against a major power, i.e. Russia, and I do expect we get a lot of recognition that way, although I no, don't know it's going to be full. For all I know, it's this meter it just gives us an alternate way to earn recognition without a CB, and winning a war against a major power still fills it up. We're almost, you know... They had literacy going up very quickly, and oh, did I hit the button? No, I did not. Level three. So we should be able to hit the 40% literacy relatively quickly at this point. 175 GDP per capita is still miles away, and the standard of living, 162, is still not great. Okay. Prove that. Oh, journal entries. Philosophy department. Yeah, um, that's fine. So move our universities over to philosophy department is what we're going to want to do. And we should have the level perfectly fine. Um, boom. And secular, yeah, it's fine. Administration, I think we'll go for full secular administration here as well. Um, yeah, we can probably go to power the port over there. It's going to be okay. This is done. University building throughput. Socialism progress. Hmm, maybe... I didn't actually take a look. What's our... Yeah, we're still well over cap over here. So I don't think we need more throughput. Let's take the move towards socialism. Which is quite interesting. We can definitely support more construction. Screw it. Let's do it. You already had a little... You have decent population. Done. Done, done, done. We're not having control. We're hoping that they're building not stupid. That's a big hope. 
Uh, convoys. You know, I think we can probably go ham with these ports. Actually, it might be another good way to fill in some of these lacking infrastructures. I'm going to cap it out in Beijing. And do some of that. So we get some convoys. Also offset some of this infrastructure issue. That's more expenses on our own. Keep doing that. Party favorites. Yes, this is fine. Donation of knowledge is for university. I'll take it. Foreign manifesto. Parliamentary Republic. Sure. Easement over there. Scholars officials are really happy. Okay, if we did this, right? Scholars officials, minus seven is still fine currently. Radicalize the scholars, hopefully not enough to start some crap. Okay, let's try it. Land of want. Have they tried being less poor? Uh, this hurts the bourgeoisie. Boost some other things. We'll do it that way. And yeah, less tax income sucks. Reduced education access sucks. But I think... Yeah, we're going to break the monarchy, and I think that's going to be okay. Constitutional Association, the bourgeoisie, they actually support the parliamentary republic, so we're going to do that for now. Finish these ports off. Ooh, negative. Well, yeah, we're getting the tax penalty right now, so it kind of makes sense that this would go badly. Okay, election is in. Petit bourgeoisie and... Okay, I don't want to bring the religious people in. Let's do this. Petit bourgeoisie... Oh, those are landowners. I think I keep doing that. Um, I guess we'll just keep you guys in, actually. Keep things as is. So yeah, we're going to take a bit of a hit right now, but I think that's going to fix itself soonish, hopefully. Our GDP should still be... Yeah, look at this. It's going freaking Super Saiyan over here with that line. That's exactly what we want to see. It's looking almost vertical over here. We're going exponential growth. Glass still expensive. Again, we're sort of hoping that these guys are, in fact, producing lots of glass. Glass works, glass works, glass works, glass works. Yep, baby. And that's in Beijing, where we built 10, so they're getting economy of scale bonuses here. I don't want a coup. So, well, we're going to go the keep a keen eye. Advances by 10% instead of 25%. Or do I? No. No, we don't want a coup. Causing speech, yes. Plus 15%. Okay, that's significant. That's really good. And yeah, our radicals are growing into equal to our loyalists. Now, some of that is, you know, being de dealt with with the parliamentary republic, but the state religion is still a problem here. A big problem. This might go negative here. I thought we had enough of a buffer. Oh, okay, we just hit level three. This is still going to dip as our population continues to grow, but it won't be quite the same. But yeah, we'll see another big uptick in education. Explosive, expensive, dun, 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 dun. What I'll probably do is build one of these in preparation. Um, you know what? I'll actually build five in food. Go support. Cruise progress retreat 15%. Should cancel it? Oh, not quite. Dang. I think we have to get it to zero for it to end. Okay, yeah, the reduction in taxes here is actually killing us. Yeah, they're stuck at a minus 10, 20 until this passes. And then they'll still be upset that it passed, but n it'll decay. Want to import from the Sikh in Vietnam? I don't want to import from Russia because we're going to be opposed to them. Sikh, Portugal. Uh, oh, we still have the war Portugal from Macau over here. Maybe we'll do that pretty soon, actually. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference for us, but it'll feel good. Portugal wants a trade agreement. I'm going to say no, because, yeah, I think we're going to come to blows over there. So, yeah, now we're running that deficit again. I really wish I'd paid off those uh, loans completely, but, yeah, it's this over here. These taxes. A lot of our taxes do come from these ranches and plantations, clearly. 
observe monarchy. Not a lot of popular support, but they're very radicalized. Uh, I don't want more mood or um, interest group down ticks over here. That would be bad. And yeah, this pious fiction is also very annoying. Yeah, we're really hoping that this passes very quickly. Um, can I cancel anything over here? We're still bolstering the literati, which I mean, maybe. Um, submission taxes, road maintenance, and Shangxi. I can cancel that. I go positive. Increase our speed a little bit. I think opposition parties, I think we're getting a bit of a mood hit from being under. I mean, not by much. Look at these guys. Plus 20 now. Jeez. Enemies, enemies. Is this the anti coup? Advance by 25. Obligation to the of France. No. Come on, baby. Tick, tick, tick. I'm pinned. Stamp out monarchism. So, fragile unity. If we conclude stamp out monarchism. Okay, that's good. True for five years. Doesn't have monarchy. Okay. Uh, so, we need to get an interest group changed. We'll see. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue with plan. Develop the tier two military tech. I'm not going to switch our building modes right now for our barracks. Because I think that'll increase some government expenditures, which I want to avoid for the moment. Come on, please progress. This is ticking very slowly. Um, can we see how long it takes per tick? I guess once it's fresh. Oh, I can mouse over here. No, just base is 200. This, ah, so we didn't get an advance. But we can substantially increase our percentage chance of success. All right. Yeah, we really need to get rid of this penalty over here. Minus three. Leader trait persistent is annoying. Government wages, which, I mean, wouldn't fix it. Hell, I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I drop the government wages right now since it... Uh, literati are fine. Wait. I think I was messing over the wrong thing. They don't care about government wages. Okay. Let's do that. Save a little bit more cash. Are you not using up all the construction anymore? No state with sufficient infrastructure and workforce for new... Really? Really? Seems unlikely. I wonder if they don't build infrastructure. Wow, they're really not using all of our construction anymore. That sucks. Okay, now it's bouncing back. Good. As I say, our like steel market and things will crash if they're not using it up. Did we? Oh, private streets. Hmm. Industrial radicals. Let's do this. I think that's fine. Really hoping for some successes here. That's positive. Let's take a look. That is not going up as fast as we'd like because of the penalty from the religious people. Vacuum canning. Is that something I can do with our food industry? Does it need electricity? No, it does need oil, though. It thinks it would be profitable right now, but no, it wouldn't actually be because of the shortage of oil. I also suspect that we can't possibly make enough with just a whaling industry. Um, this coup is sketchy. They want autocracy. If completed. Hmm. Can we get the scholars' officials out? No, we can't. They might actually succeed in their coup. What, like, we really needed this to complete faster so that their mood would improve. They might coup us. And we'd lose our voting. I really don't want that to happen. Die works. We all shall die. Smoky back room. Yeah, we need to retreat the coup a little bit. Okay, we advance to ascent. That's good. Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to remove... Yeah, I mean, I could try, but it's not going to work. They still have way too much support. 
was hoping we'd break these guys. Maybe I should have triggered a civil war and see if we could beat them. It feels kind of unlikely though. Okay, at least the construction seems to be going now. That's great news. Uh, GDP line continues to skyrocket up. Gold depleted. Oh, well, that'll be more gold mines. Hopefully they build it. I don't want to enqueue anything myself right now. 100k interest now. Come on, pass. And yeah, I'm hoping that once this passes, things will stabilize a little bit here. Oh, they're almost willing to start a civil war range. That would remove them from government, which is interesting. And I don't think the civil war would actually happen at this point. We're quite close. Armed forces. I actually don't mind their barracks going down, although it advanced the coup. No, we'll have to take the minus two on the armed forces. But they do love me, right? Yeah, plus 18. Come on, finish on this tick. We really need that to happen. Rail oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, more railways, which is good, because we clearly needed that. Because that's it. They're building the industry, which needs more infrastructure. So then they need to follow up with building the railways, which we're still subsidizing, and I may be able to cancel. How much are we spending on subsidies? 8K. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing and ensures that things move smoothly. Slowly, or smoothly. The fall of the Qing Dynasty. With stroke of pen, two millennia of imperial rule has come to an end. As the last Manchu emperor is escorted out of the Forbidden City, the world ships his gates to the east. What does this new age hold for China? And it's new flag! Manchu yoke has ended at last. Okay, progress of fragile in, uh, unity is increased by one. Manchu stops being a primary culture and people become radical. Or it's time for reconciliation. So, hmm. We don't want to bring it to zero. We would like to bring it up to a five. Advance, winning the open war. It'll advance if we stamp out monarchism, which we're working on. Or is this, is this it? This might, no. No, it's its own thing. Um, Because Manchu staying as a primary culture should be better for us. Let's go for reconciliation. We have a parliamentary republic. Stamp out monarchism. So... The problem is, we have... So we have a... I think we have a powerful group that wants monarchy. Which makes sense, because that would be... That would be the scholars' officials. They want monarchy, and they're powerful. So we need them either to change their mind, or to no longer be powerful. In theory, some of their power has been weakened dramatically because they don't have monarchy, right? Monarchy gives 25% more political strength to aristocrats, so that's now gone. Okay. Um, I would like elected bureaucrats, because that will further weaken them. Problem is, we might get a coup first. I don't know what I can do about that. Possibly nothing. I could try to do the trick where we can't we disband a bunch of military that's not in our capital. Well, first of all, yeah, okay. You know what? We're not gonna want these lancers. Let's focus on that. So I think if I go transfer and expand lancers by state. Actually, none of these Lancers are in our capital state. The problem is we might not have any any troops in Beijing itself. Yeah, 20, which isn't much. Scholars are pretty powerful. We're also quite hated by the Confucian scholars. So that's my problem. There's two things with scholars in the name. Um, and it's possible these guys would join in just for spite. Now, that's if there's a civil war. I don't know if we're going to get that far, because I'm just worried about this coup. But tell you what, let's disband all these Lancers. They're not that useful anymore. And they're costing us money. I don't know if we have any others. Have some over here. If nothing else, we're going to do this, because it's going to save us a few buckaroos. Hey, look, positive for a little bit. 
Now, we're not actually constructing, so it'd be great if that number was better. Oh, yeah, they're really pissy. And we're still hitting this in the coup. Are they going to ex... I mean, that's... Okay. Orchestrated a coup against Chinese state. First bold act. Proclaimed establishment of monarchy. So monarchy's back. Strong leaders. Unrivaled in government. They get strength. Or long live the monarchy. Oh, either way, they get unrivaled. Enables oligarchy. Okay. Oh, they just went for... Okay, hold on. Hold on. All they did is get, eliminate the voting laws. We're still not a monarchy. We could go to oligarchy, oligarchy over here. So this leaves us with autocracy. This goes to oligarchy. What are we looking at as a difference? So auto autocracy, head state of power is absolute, held accountable with no earthly power. This is the rich, right? Head of state shares power and responsibility, small group of powerful unelected individuals. It still spreads it out. This makes the aristocrats and capitalists power powerful. This is aristocrats and officers. I think I would prefer oligarchy in this case, so it's not quite as obsolete. Right? Either way, we get unrivaled for nine years. This creates a new character. We don't know who. Okay, and I guess... Oh, it changes the leader. So we've got this dude. Protectionist. Well, stuff definitely just got more complicated. Yeah, negative autocracy, really? Or um, an, an authority over here? Uh, I think we're going to have to stop bolstering the literati for now. Just we're going to keep this positive. We can cancel some of those consumption taxes too, which hopefully... But let's go and run our money positive for a little bit here. Harsh contrast. Ooh. Who are you? This is the same person, right? Okay. Ying, is this from the armed forces? Armed forces is currently nihilist. Could become moderate with no stances. Or a reformer, which is probably where we want to go to. Interesting. No place for opportunists, but no, we're going to do this. Assist in the government. I really, I still don't want state religion, but that might have gotten stronger. Overall, ooh, GDP took a little bit of dip. I wonder what caused that dip. Standard living is actually on its way up. What caused this dip? Oh, probably me cutting some uh, salaries. That's probably it. That makes sense. Market access is basically fine. It's slight shortage in a few places. That's okay. Um, oh, yeah, I want to survey a skyscraper site. I think that's been there ever since we got um, steel. Okay, the leader of the bourgeoisie, Marco will play for power. More power for the petite bourgeoisie, I think is a good idea for us. All right, they have these shitty law ideas. But... You are anti-monarchist. I'll give you some more political strength. Even though you're a racist and that that's maybe a problem. Maybe. Um, I don't want to weaken the literati, although I like the legitimacy. Oh, we can appease Chinese Pressure Association, which has... Is it just one thing or is there more than one? There's a couple. Okay. We'll do that. Pick up rifling. You still have tons of money. You're just not using it. Insufficient infrastructure, which we will go and try to compute to support. First of all, I'm going to go and max out these port sites. There you go. Yes, we'll spend money on it. So be it. 
going to max those out, which will help with the infrastructure. Oh, these two as well. Hold on. And max, yeah, well, we can we can use these transports. Now, we can take a look at things we've got good shortages for. Uh, we can take a look to see if we're actually exporting a bunch of these. Hopefully not. Um, buy orders, trade routes is basically nothing. All pop consumption. We don't trade groceries at all. And iron, it doesn't surprise me. Oh, only 152. I was going to say, it wouldn't surprise me if a bunch of people were importing iron, but turns out there's a lot less than expected. Now, we'll see what happens. Now, our convoys are only going to be used for our own trade routes. I suppose, actually, another good thing to check at this point is let's cancel any trade routes that aren't profitable. There we go. We could take another look, see if... Uh, yep, that's good. Yep. Profitable trade routes that we could add in. And I don't care who we're trading with at this point. Shortage of iron is very interesting. Clearly build more. Can we export some furniture? Oh, why isn't it sorted by productivity? Maybe it was sorted by amounts? Yeah, that's not much. Okay. And yes, maybe losing some money again. Uh, we still need this to go away. Now, this is going to burn off. Yeah, recent changes... But those will go away, and actually, you'll be quite happy once you start being cranky about things. I mean, you always already went and, like, murdered my previous emperor or something, so could you get over it? Oh, I didn't realize we changed colors! We're blue now! Hey, hey! Anyway, so we have a very colorful flag. Very colorful. Maybe the construction's insane. Oh, new company. Sorry, I was hitting escape to close that window as soon as that pop-up came out. I really think those dialog boxes need like a, like a two-second delay before they can be closed by hitting escape. Cheaper military goods. More steel throughput. I don't think we need more of that. Supply consumption, army offense. More bureaucracy. I mean, maybe. More minting with these gold mines. You know, munitions conglomerate. We have a lot of businesses behind it. And it might save us some money. Again, and it is, I mean, it is burning off, but there's a Also, I hate this education access decrease. That's so frustrating. It is the same thing. Once we burn that off, they're going to be quite pleased with us. But we're having to suffer through a hard period of deficit here. Maybe these ports are insane, but no, I don't think so. What are you building so much of over here? Oh, you're building tons of shipyards, which I guess will be good because it'll feed into the ports. It's interesting because the, currently the price of these convoys aren't that expensive. Or clippers, I suppose they are. And we might want to make a transition to a different... Um... Do I? I may want to. Do we switch over to steamers? I think we probably should. In our steel mines, we are all on, like, dynamite and stuff, right? Oh, the lead mines aren't. That was missed. Stonks! What's that one for? Uh, well, it should be... I mean, bonks. Three companies, max prosperity. Oh, well, that's good. I switch you... Well, these would be profitable. Produce less grain. Our grain situation is not as bad as it was. Also, let's do... These are all profitable. Hold on, this is really good. Okay, that would lose money probably because of shortages. Um, let's take a look at our market here. Goods. Oh, we have the shortage here, but not by much. Again, hopefully these guys will just catch up, but we'll look at more mode changes. Yep, good, skyrocketing. Education going up. And yeah, I think our economy will be fixed as soon as these guys aren't quite so shitty about everything. Is there anything we could swap to make you happy? Actually, you'd be happy with landed voting. Right, because you didn't like the move back to oligarchy. I would love to go back to landed voting, and it's not going to terribly piss anyone off. If I do that, all of a sudden you're no longer cranky. You get rid of the noble privileges, uh, or whatever it's called. Noble privileges. All of a sudden we're running positive money like that. That was a huge swap. 
And overall puts me in a position I'm happier with as well. Okay, no, this is great. Who would support the bureaucrats? Just to bourgeoisie. Oh, and the scholars wouldn't like it. We'll do it at some point, but maybe not yet. Yeah, this is still not running. Rifling unlocked. And those are all the tier two military techs. And what about the shipping side? Yep, good, okay. We're gonna build an army. Um, actually, I'll get the electric telegraph first. We do have a war, we can run that. But we are gonna have to go and get artillery. Okay, let's switch over to... Can I not steamship at all? We need gant uh, gantry cranes. Okay. I need to lose money on this. Engines, hardwood. I do want to switch this. And yeah, even if you're not profitable right now, do that. Covered markets. I think you'd lose money. Let's do it. These are all... all right, we still can't do this. Canned fish would lose us money. And then the rice farms. Very unprofitable. For a few different reasons. Right there. Oh, barbed wire fence. You would lose money. Oh, because the iron. You know what? We're going to do that anyway. We're going to increase demand on iron. And that's fine. Although we already had a little bit of a shortage. Hmm. Yeah, hold on. I mean, not that much, and I'm hoping that we end up with more iron mines being built. More steel mills right now, which is an interesting choice. The iron deficit's not that bad. Landed voting is moving forward. These deficits are okay. Standard living. We could focus on these spaces specifically. Still a lot of peasants. And I don't have another level of institutions I could push right now, right? No. Still would love to max out the education. Yeah, I don't want state religion. Oh, wait, hold on. I can exile you. Because you're no longer... Their leaders don't have a matchup. Okay, that's great. Yeah, we have a lot of radicals. Now, a lot of this is probably from standard living changes. Yes. But a lot of it was from the political movements. Now, I wonder what would be the best way to raise the GDP for the tax changes. Would it be to just pay our people more? Would it be to remove a consumption tax? Would it be to lower taxes? Well, this almost certainly, but it's also a big change in amounts. And I'm still wondering about burning off some of this debt. After this passes, we're going to have to take a look to see what our, um, if there's any tax changes that would be useful at this juncture. A good vintage. I don't think the prestige were probably still capped on, so we'll do the wine throughput. Skyscraper site identified. Anti-league, done nothing suspect. Many gifts. Okay, we could have this person resign. He's a market liberal, which I'm in favor of. Did nothing suspect. And yet we can build... Skyscraper. Oh, yeah. And we will, we will push that immediately. Quite a long build. <clears throat> and we have to spend that out of pocket. We're still making positive money for the moment. Morocco, support independence. I'm going to say no for now. I mean, in general, for the most of the game. Class fiction is almost gone. And I don't expect there's anything that they want that I would like to do. Well, compulsory primary school, I'm actually... Oh, we need human rights. Hold on. Should we push towards human rights? Now, I think that's a tier three. So we'd be paying quite the premium for it. You know... Okay, there's not a lot left over here. We can pick up pharmaceuticals, psychiatry, then pick up human rights and do compulsory schools, which actually sounds pretty nice. So we still need to kick out the scholars. Can't do anything for this guy. He's got a lot of freaking strengths. 
tenant farm. I wonder if... Hmm. We'll have to take a look to see if we can move out of tenant farmers as well. Things of the past. And Akmixus has chance. And Scholar's Official loses popularity? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's really good. More influence, which we don't really need right now. Like these are here. I agree if the rural folk were happier. But so be it for now. Okay. Oh, I got to put a cut in here. Um, we're still working on this. We've got a slight positive here. Still really want to drop those taxes. But I don't know if I can do it while I've got the deficit. Trying to keep government spending, like construction spending, a little bit more controlled. We're having to rely on the capitalists, but they seem to be, you know, doing pretty smart things overall. Hopefully. Um, do we switch over here? Predicted to be profitable. Crash of the, the, the cost of transportation. The thing I'm worried about still with this is I do this, and then all of a sudden it won't be profitable to build more passenger or more infrastructure. Sorry, more railways, and therefore I won't be getting more infrastructure. But I guess it's still being subsidized. I guess it won't be auto-expanded. Probably, if it's not directly profitable. This would help the standard of living. I could do it just piecemeal. What I could do is go to market, scroll all the way down, go and look at transportation, find the places that have it the worst off, and then in those places, see, balance of minus 400. In those places, switch the railways, which you only have one, actually. Let me do that. Yeah, that is shockingly low. So maybe I'll just look at negative balance over here. quite a bit. That still doesn't solve it. Okay, you know what? These railways do generate less. All right, fine. Everyone will get this. It'll crash the price of transportation. Well, crash. It'll lower it in some places. I think it'll still be fairly high. And maybe it'll be good. Standard Living has been shooting up a bunch recently, which is nice. Again, that's without our... Um, uh, phew, words. That's without our welfare, either, to bring up you know some of the minimums here. But yeah, this theoretically is just acting as more and more of a multiplier. There's not a ton in the private queue right now. It's a little unfortunate. I wonder if I should manually go and build a bunch of fertilizer. Because, I mean, this is still going to crash some of the prices. But mostly it's the increased fertilizer cost. Hmm. You wouldn't, you're not complaining that any of them would lose out completely. Yeah, that is a huge shortage. Although, what I can do is I can pull back on, say, the wheat and the rye farms, maybe. Uh, send you back? Okay, we have a deficit, but not officially a shortage currently. And then presumably, fertilizer factories will start getting added to this queue. One hopes. Building more plantations, building railroad. Surprisingly, not with the fertilizer. I mean, I think it takes them a little while to, like, make those plans. Too bad we can't import much. We can import a little, though. Which will be good. It's going to come down. You know, I think that's going to be okay. And so, we still have these rye farms to transfer over, but it's less... We've got more of it transferred over. We've got that pressure being generated. And then hopefully we see this start to dip down. And overall, grain prices have dropped a little with this change. So that's going to be good for our people. Keep that standard of living going up. 116th now. Okay. I like it. I think things are moving in an excellent direction. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.